First John 3 and 4. So my brother Damien, we're going to show you what exactly is sin. It ain't just when you do bad things, when you use cuss word. No. The prophets in the Bible cuss sometimes. Y'all know I see your face. We didn't know that. Because we've been taught lies in church. Watch this. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So my brother Damien, what is sin? Read it again. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. So sin is not exactly what law? The laws of God. That's right. That's the law. When you go again, and this is the New Testament. When you go against the laws of God, you're in sin. It's not just uh, you got on blue today, you in sin. Because I don't like blue, so you in sin. I got on purple, you don't like purple. So I'm in sin. No. No, all that's subjective. All of that is, is opinionated. God said sin is breaking his law. Read it again. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's what sin is. When you break God's laws. Now go back. First Kings. Come on. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. Right here. Not when Christ come and take us back to Jerusalem, right here in Babylon the Great. Come on. Say, we have sinned. Saying what? We have sinned. We, the black man don't know that word we. He don't know that word we. Because that word we, to understand it, requires unity. It requires unity. It requires us understanding we are a nation of people. Not a nigga here and a nigga there. No, we are all one people. Right. Just like we came over here all as one people. Right. Together, men and women, we've been divided by our sins. We've been scattered because of our sins. But the Bible requires us that when we come to the Father, we acknowledge us as a people, as a nation. We have sinned. Our people do wicked. Come on. And have done perversely. Come on. We have committed wickedness. We. Our people have done evil in the sight of you, uh, uh, Lord. Come on. Verse 48. And so return unto thee. And so return to the Lord. What does it mean to return? Hey, let's say your baby grew up. He like 18, 19. And he still want to be in that gang. You told him don't do it. He still want to steal out your wallet. You still don't. You, 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 tell, you told him don't do it. And you say, you got to get up out of my house, man. He, he, got, bird, he, got, he got dope in your house. What you going to do? He keep doing it though. Uh-huh. You know what you're going to have to do? You, are, you already know what you're going to have to do. I know it's hard. It's hard. You're going to throw his ass out. That's what you're going to do. But let's say he changed. Now, he went, he went and got locked up. He like, no, I ain't on that no more. I ain't doing it. You're going to let him home? Yeah. Yes. Yes, he's repenting. Right. He's reformed his life. Yeah, come on back, man, until you get on your feet. No, I got you. Don't worry about that. Just do the right thing. Just don't bring that same nonsense up in here. This is all the Lord is teaching us. Common sense. These churches are teaching us to not be accountable for the evil that we do. They're teaching us, no, it's okay. Just come in here. You sell all the dope. Sell dope from, from Monday to Saturday. Then come in here, pay your tithes with the dope money, and you're good again. Then you next week, do it again. And then again. And then again. Until you die, and all your ki kids die doing the same thing. Bring it out. That's why our people, that's why our communities have not changed. But churches are everywhere. They're on every corner, my brother. It's hard to find somebody that ain't either, either in Islam or Christianity. Hard. It's hard. And we still ain't no better off than we was when we got off the slave ships. Right. Killing each other. In fact, we were better off then. We weren't killing each other. The white man was. We kill each other now and get mad when he killed one or two of us. Right. We kill each other every single day, all day long. Lady going to a funeral today. That's what she just said. Somebody murdered somebody right down the street. She's going to a funeral today. You heard about that? Yeah. That's common. That's commonplace in our communities. It's weird if a white man come into our community and kill somebody. They went, oh, what happened? Oh. Where was that when the little baby was raped? What was that when the, when, when the sister was shot up? What was that when the brother was leaked out in the street? What was all of that? What was the marching in? Right. We some hip our people some hypocrites, bro. Right, right. Oh. We some hypocrites, bro. Yes, they, yes, we are. Our people off. 
But come on, let's read on. Because this is showing us the way. This is showing us how to change our minds, how to get right. Come on. And so return unto thee with all their heart. Uh, it says return to the Father. Return back to where he told. Just like your boy get locked up, he come back. He returned to you. He returned. You know why he asked you, can he live with you? Because he already know what's required of him. He already know. No, my dad ain't going to play. My dad going to keep me from going back into them gangs. My dad going to make sure I get on my feet the right way this time. My dad going to make sure. Otherwise, he can go back and stay with the niggas. He can go back and stay in the dope house. He can go back and stay with the holes that he was smashing. This, with the, this is common sense that our people just don't exercise. Our people just don't want to acknowledge. Come on. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. Right here where we was brought as a punishment. We got to return to the Father. We got to come back to what he said for us to do. We the Israelites. We got to keep his commandments in the faith of Christ. Our Messiah, our King. Was that it? Come on. Which led them away captives and pray unto thee toward their land. So when we pray, we don't even know how to pray. You know what we think praying is? That's not what praying is. The Bible say lift ye up holy hands. Our forefathers didn't pray like this. Our forefathers prayed like this. With their hands bowed toward the east. What's the east? I'm going to show you. Galatians 4.26. What you say? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what the east is. All praise to the Father. What's the east? Jerusalem. That's where we come from. Watch this. But Jerusalem which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. I know you thought you came from Africa. I know. And you're not wrong because Jerusalem is northeast Africa. Now they teach you that it's what? The Middle East, right? Quick question. Where's the Middle West? Where's the Middle South or the Middle North? Right, it doesn't exist just like the Middle East don't exist. That was a lie so that you never know. Hold on, that's my homeland. That's my homeland because you might find out that the continent of Africa was named after a white man called Leah Scipius Africanus. So once he conquered the area known as Libya, they just named the whole continent after him. You understand what I'm, you understand? That's where that, you can Google it when you get time. Google that history. That land was never called that. That land was called first Ham, the land of Ham. And then it was divided into different names as we conquered it. Once we fled, in Jeru fled Jerusalem in 70 AD, we went and conquered these various lands. And we didn't call them Ham anymore. We called them land of Judah. We called them uh, 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 Ephraim Benign. We called them after our, after our tribes. You understand? It was no longer called the land of Ham. On maps anyway. Let me say it like that. On maps. But Jerusalem is where we come from. Jerusalem is our homeland. That's the motherland. That's where all mankind comes from. Alright, go back to where we was. Read it again. And so it turned unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul and the land of their enemies which led them away captive. Where we led captives from? From Jerusalem from Jerusalem. Then we fled from Jerusalem, some of us fled from Jerusalem into the interiors of Africa. Most of us here in America came from the, what's called the west coast of Africa, the Ivory Coast, the Gold Coast, the interiors of the Congo. That's where we came from. That's where they came and conquered and stole us from there and brought us here as slaves. Right. Come on. And pray unto thee toward their land. It says, and pray unto the Lord toward our land toward our land our land is Jerusalem that's the land of God that's why they call it the holy land to this day that's the land of God so when we pray you got to teach this to your baby when we pray we face the east we face Jerusalem when we pray Before, when you wake up in the morning you send the prayers up with your baby when you go to sleep at night and you send the prayers up with your baby you face the east that's how Israelites pray. That's how God said for us to pray. Come on. Which thou gavest unto their fathers, the cities which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. The house that he has chosen is Jerusalem. That's Israel, the land of Israel. It's a little bit different than what we see today. It's bigger. It's smaller than what it is back then, today. You understand what I'm saying? 
but that's generally Israel, what you see today, that's general, that's the general concept of Israel in the Bible. All right? And that's our land. So we pray toward our land, right? Go to no Second Chronicles 6 and 6. Second Chronicles 6 and 6. I'm gonna show you. Because after this, because we said this, when the devil come to see you, bruh, he gonna come and he's gonna take, he's gonna tell you that, he's gonna tell you to be a pan-Africanist, a pan-Africanist. He gonna teach you that Israel is not who you is, you actually Egyptian. Even though we was in slavery under the Egyptians, right? Because these are the things that's been sown in you. Who you are, your nationality, where you come from, the laws of God. So he's gonna tell you some other laws. He's gonna tell you you come from Egypt. Yes, sir. They were black. Mm -hmm. not them. They're black. They're black to this day. Those those would be your Watusis and your Sudanese. Some of your Sudanese people today. That's who the ancient. So who you see in Egypt right now? That's why it's, it, those are Arabs. That's why it's called the Republic of Egypt. The, the Arab Republic of Egypt. Look it up on your phone right now. Your, the Arabic Republic of Egypt. All right. In 1840, the Arabs conquered Egypt. That's right. And they kicked out and dispersed all the African or Hamitic people that were there. All right. Nowadays they call it committed. Kemet, you ever heard that before? Kemet, those that the, the real, the real enunciation of that is Hamitic. Right? They come from the son of the the, the uh, they come from the seed of Ham. All right. That was a cursed son of Noah. All right. Watch this. Where we at? All right. Watch this. Second Chronicles six and verse six. But I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there. So God chose Jerusalem, not just Africa. Because I don't want somebody to come in, no, nah, my brother, you understand me. You got to learn it. No, no. The Bible says, read it again. But I have chosen Jerusalem. God chose Jerusalem. And that's, it's, it's, it's important that you know you come from Jerusalem because with understanding that country, you understand the, you, you, it, it's, it's a fulfillment or a fullness of understanding your identity. That's right. I come from, I'm an Israelite. We come, no, 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 my homeland is Jerusalem. My people, we come from over there, and this is what we were doing there. Yep. Right. This is what we were supposed to be doing there. This is the land that God chose. That's what makes it the best land on the planet. That's why it's important that we know this. Come on. That my name might be there. The name of God is called the commandments of God. It's called the commandments of God. It's also called Israel. Princes of the powers with God. That's what Israel means. The prince, we the prince. The men of God, we are princes. And we have power with God. As long as we keep his commandments. As long as we keep his commandments. When you die, who's going to get your heir? Who's going to be your heir? Your son. That's right. So if our Lord created everything, if our Father created everything, what belongs to us? If our Father created everything, what belongs everything but that's right that's what i'm talking about we got to expand our minds my brother everything but the world belongs to us that's why it hurts us so bad once you understand this bible and it hurts us so bad to see niggas arguing over a corner fighting over a block the whole planet belongs to you right and your brother ain't begun to do the evil that other nations have done to you but you fighting your brother he fighting you for the same reason. He fighting you for the same reason you fighting him. Cause none of, cause both of y'all broke. Right. Both of y'all don't know a better way. But the planet belongs to you. We don't understand this book. Come on, read it again. But I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there, and I've chosen David, has chosen our forefather, our forefather, a man that looked like us, not a white man, no, a man that looked just like us. Right. Just like us, come on. And I've chosen David to be over my people. And God chose David to be over us. A man that looked like us. A man that serves the Lord faithfully. To teach and raise and be a king over God's people. Come on. That be over my people, Israel. Who is God's people? Israel. God's people are Israel. That's right. That world in John 3.16 is only talking about Israel. That's right. That's right. Let's get John chapter 18 verse 20. Let's get John chapter 18 verse 20. We might have to go back. We might have to touch on that. So it came out for a reason. Right. Come on. The book of John chapter 18 and 20. 
Yeah. Yeah. Come on. John chapter 18 and verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue. God, Jesus said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why y'all keep thinking I came for everybody? Why John 3.16 got y'all so confused? I teach plainly. I'm speaking plainly. I ever taught in the synagogue. Who in the synagogues, brothers? Who's in the synagogues? The Jews are in the synagogues. That's right. Other nations are not. It was forbidden for any other nation to be in the synagogues. That's right. He said, I ever taught in the synagogues. Come on. And in the temple. Who is in the temple, brothers? The, the Jews. Jews. The Jews. It is forbidden for any other race to be in the temple. Read. Out. Whether the Jews always resort. Come on. And in secret have I said nothing. God said, I ain't saying nothing in secret. I said it plainly. I only came for the Israelites. I only came for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Point blank, period. I did not come for, and where are we reading from? The book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. The New Testament, out of the words and mouth of Christ himself. Right. He says it over and over and over and over and over and over. He ain't come for nobody but the Jews. He ain't come for nobody but Israel. Come on, read. Right. Whether the Jews always resort because the Jews are there. That's why Christ is only teaching there. That's, right. That's why. That's why. So now it makes sense when he says, I'm only coming, but I only came for the house of Israel. Now it makes sense that the angel prophesied to Mary, you're going to have a son. You're going to call him this. And when he come, he's going to say, you're going to call him Jesus Christ because he's going to save his people. Not the pe his people. Read it again. My brother wasn't here. Read it again. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. I'm going to show you my brother. I'm going to show you. It's about time we believe in ourselves, man. Right. The That's black right. man don't think nothing of himself and everything of everybody else. Right. Everything of every. That's why we so That's why we kill each other, but the who's the safest man in the ghetto? A white man. Right. A white man is the safest man in the ghetto. Make it play. He's safer than everybody else. He's done more evil to you than anybody on this earth. And he's the safest one around you. Can't make this up. Come on. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. We're reading the Holy Bible. We're reading the Holy Bible. You know why everybody's so confused nowadays, bro? Because in these churches that have taught all of us, they ain't reading the Bible. That's right. They'll read it, and then they'll leave it behind and tell you their own thoughts. And they're all lies. Right. They're lies. They're lies. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 